Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play the song Essence by Wizkid. It's a very easy song with three chords to it, which run throughout the whole song. So I'm going to show you those chords and explain how you can strum it or play it so you can have that sort of nice vibe that the song has. And also if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications about my new videos. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right. So this song is in the key of C, and the chords we'll be playing are the D minor, the E minor, and the F, which rotates throughout the whole song. Because the chords are in a, because the chords are seventh chords, I decided not to just play the standard uh, C shape chords. I'd uh, rather do a capered version of those chords so we can add some seventh chords so that seventh sound seventh sound makes the chord sound more like what's in the song which gives it that nice kind of um uh intimate vibe to it that it has um and you also hear those seventh type chords uh, when you listen closely to the, what the electric guitar is playing because kind of it does play those seventh type chords but first I'll start with the basic chords. So we're gonna take our capo and we're gonna put it on fret five. And that means we'll be playing the chords that are found in the key of G, but we'll be still in the key of the song, which is in C. So put your capo on fret five. So the chords you wanna play are A minor, B minor, And C. So if I just to play those chords, we'll get something like for the chorus. You want another body? Did it? Did it? Did it? That sort of sound with those chords. Um. But those chords don't really sound like the song. So what I would suggest is playing the seventh chords. So the A minor will become A minor seven. So what you'd need is your finger here on the B string and your finger here on the D string. So you don't have that uh, middle finger or ring finger, which would be your normal A minor chord. You take that out to get get that A minor 7. Here's a comparison of just normal A minor. A minor 7. So A minor 7 has got a more open, more, just a nicer sound, I guess. So A minor, A minor 7. So then the next one is that B minor seven, which we're already playing as a band minor seven. So if you need a reminder, so you'll need your, this finger on your A string, this finger on your, on your G string. Sorry, this finger, which I'm waving, on your G string, and this finger on your B string. And you should get that sound for that B minor. So A minor seven, B minor seven. So instead of playing this normal C, you take off this finger and play those chords to give it that C major seven sound. So all together it'll be these chords, A minor seven, B minor seven, C major seven. So that's it for the chords. And I'll show you how to play it if you're just playing in normal open tuning C as well. 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to play this song also in open, just normal, the normal C uh, chord shapes that you have. So this is how it sounds with normal chords from the key of C. So you'll have your D minor seven. Then E minor seven. Then C seven. As you can hear, it sounds very bassy. That's why I'm not really a fan of playing it down low here on the guitar. But that's how you would play it. So you play a D minor seven, E minor seven, E minor seven, E minor seven, G major, or C major seven, then back to D minor seven. Okay, now I'm going to show you the timing of those chords. So A minor 7 goes for 8 beats. The B minor 7 goes for 7 beats. And then the C major 7 is that last beat. Then we'll repeat that cycle. So let's go through it. So A minor 7 for 2, for two beats. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. 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 And that's the same chords that you use for the the verses, the bridge, all the parts of the song, pretty much. Um, actually, all the parts of the song. So now we're gonna to jump to the strumming of the song. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you could strum this song. There's a few ways you could do it. So one way is to pick the chords. So here I'm picking the, the A string, the G string, and the B string. So I'll pick the chords this way, one, two, three, four. One, so A minor, so you got A minor. Two. minor and C major 7 So another way you can play this strong is to strum it and I'm going to be using the down up down pattern except for the C major 7 where I just strum down. Okay, so here we go. From the A minor 7 and 1, 2, 3, 4. B minor 7. C7 major. B minor 7. C major 7. Okay guys, so I'm not going to show you the other way of playing this song. That's a little bit more for those guitarists who want to apply bar chords in their playing. And this part of the song is kind of taken from the, is taken from the electric guitar, which is playing uh, sort of bar chord shapes in the song. So I'm going to show you how to play those bar chords. And that's really what gives that if you, when you hear the, the song and you hear the guitar part, these bar chords are more like almost what the, what is played in the song. Uh, I guess there's some voicing things, but I'll just show you the basics of how to 
I get that part down using back chords, the chords using back chords. So let me show you guys that now. And now I'm going to show you how to play those chords as back chords, which will really kind of sound like the guitar in the song. So if you know your bar chords, if you go to your fifth fret and do a minor seven shape, just to give you that D minor seven, that'll be your first chord. That D minor seven would be kind of would be that shape with your with this finger being here with an A minor seven shape. Then the next one is just an E minor seven. So you just shift down two frets to here. And that'll be your second chord. Then that passing chord will be that, will be this chord, which is an F major seven. So we're all doing all this in the original key. So in the key of C. So. D minor seven. E minor seven. The passing F major seven. Yeah, and that's it. And I'll pluck these chords. Um, I'll just do a pluck like this. So these chords would be really great when you're playing on an electric guitar. The electric guitar in the song actually just mostly does drums, down strums. So one, two, three, four. And that's it. So that's it guys for that song. I hope you enjoyed the video. There was a lot in it and at the beginning it was pretty basic, but there's a lot of things you can learn and pick up and build your skills as a guitarist. So I hope you find this lesson fun. It's a bit more in depth than my previous lessons. So I hope you found that valuable. And also if you have any comments, please make sure you put them down below in the comment section. And if you love this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you want to know more about new videos that are coming up soon, make sure to hit the subscribe bell, bell so you know when my new videos land. So I hope you have a great day, guys. I'll catch you later. Bye.